Welcome back, one and all, to D&D Tactics. We pick up the campaign, it's Spider Spike, again. The hollow, the dark hollow, hides many evils. Follow the path to find the witch. Alright, here we go. Probably lots of spiders. Okay, so, I'll take a stony path here. Right, Royal Lock, you're in front. Uh, we'll have Serena uh, at the side. Rain and back. Zer at, no, nope, Faltori in the middle. He can shed some light. And you never let that damn thief out of sight. Stop! Stop! You can speak. That is because I'm full of secrets, dwarf. I've come to tell you to keep to the path. Why? My mistress sends a warning that Spider Spike Hollow is dangerous. Stay from the path, and you will meet your doom. I do not fear the Hollow. Then you are a fool. <laughs> All right, let's look at the path ahead. It's a twisty path, looks like. With a set of double doors at the end. However, I bet if I stick to the path, I will not encounter any, if many, monsters. But there are lots of passageways off to the sides here that might have loot in them, or more likely, spiders. Well, let's get some spider killing done. All right, Serena, you know the drill. Let's bless the party. Okay, feeling so blessed. Faltori, we're going to swap out your crossbow for a torch. And let's do another light spell on people here so I can see what I'm doing. Warlock, you are enlightened. And we'll do the same thing here for... Oops, not repair spell. Uh, end turn. Okay, we'll do it again. On Kaori. Okay, got three light sources now. That should be plenty. Alright. Warlock, lead the way. Let's head off to the left. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, I'm not seeing it, but let's ready for attack. Or... Ready versus approach. There it is. Ugh. Ugh. I hate me some giant spiders. And not just because they violate the square cube law. Alright, we're like, get up there. Let's get in this thing's face. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet your hide failed. Um, Zerak, head on up. Can you see it? I think you can. That's a good noise. Yep. Attack. Ah, hit. Four, only three damage. Spider's turn, and he is casting web, which, oh wow, that's a huge range. Alright, Serena. Um, looks like no one got ensnared. So that's good. Uh... Movement is limited, though. Very limited. Alright, Rain moves up. She should have a line of sight on the creature, I think. Yes. She smites it for four. Alright, Kaori, what's your movement range? Uh, not great. Faltori will move up as well. There we go. All right, uh, Warlock, let's attack. A nice strike by War by Warlock for 14 damage. Spider has two hit points left. Zerak, can you finish it off? No, miss. Good try, though. Let's get into the cave. 
There we go. Spiders. To oh, there's another spider on the initiative chart. Warlock takes a hit for 10 damage. Ow. Uh, Serena, can you get up to Warlock? Nah, well, barely. Come on, Rain, you can do it. No, miss. Alright, where's this other spider? Oh, end turn. Where's this other spider? There you are. Alright, Carrie, let's head that one off. That's a miss. Okay, Faltori. Uh, I'm not going to use too much of your magic here. At least not yet. How about an acid splash on this spider right here? Let's see if we can finish it off. And he misses. Ending turn. Royal lock. Nails it. 13 damage and dead. Alright, moving him up. Zerak moves in and makes a strike with his bow. Miss. Uh, okay, Serena, you should be able to get up to Warlock here and do a clerical cure. Let's get rid of uh, Detect Undead. Probably not going to need that here. Warlock is healed. Back up to 34 out of 37. Alright, Rain, can you move in any? A little bit. Aim and bam. For six damage. Nice dodge by Kaori. And she will counter. For ten damage. Alright, Faltori. Um, you're going to move up. And not do anything else for this turn. Again, I want to hold on to your magic, magic just a little bit longer. Not going to waste it on the first encounter. Warlock kills it for 10 damage. Back in expiration. And the web is gone. Alright, let's get... Uh, where, well, actually, where, where am I? Okay, so there's the pathway outside. Uh, looks like the passageway is heading off... Uh, it looks like an empty cave to me. I don't see any treasure chests over there. And another empty cave. No treasure chests over there. Let's get up some eyes in there. Oh, hello. Uh, ready versus attack. There was a spider over there. And he's casting web. Alright, Kaori will ready versus approach. Let's get Zerak up so we can see this thing. And Warlock will move up to assist Kaori. Faltori, can you get eyes on this thing? Yeah, okay, good, you see it. Alright. Let's do a magic missile. Not at the darkness, but at a spider in the darkness. Two and a five. Not bad rolls. Well, second one anyway. Kiori auto attacks for eight damage. Good shot. Serena will move up and not do anything else. Rain cannot see her target. All right. Uh, what's your hit rate? Mediocre? Average? Okay. But it's enough. Dead Spider for 35 on a crit. Jeez, Kaori. I mean, I know you hate spiders. I hate spiders too. So, nice nice going. It's 35 damage. That's my highest yet. Okay, well, I see nothing over here. So, let's uh, let's get the team all lined up against the other wall. Over there. Um, Serena, move you up. Faltore. Probably should let the wizard go first. Alright. Kaori, head on up.
All right, Webb, you can go away now. I don't, I don't really need you here anymore. I mean, I appreciate your, enth your enthusiasm, Webb, but uh, seriously. Poor Serena can move only one, one square diagonal. All right, looks like we're good against uh, coming up here. What's over here anyway? Um, ooh, is that like a spider hole or something? Creepy. All right, let's keep things moving. Uh, Kaori. Oh, did the web dissipate? Good. Yeah, she can hold her own. Oh, incoming web. Nice save. Ready versus approach. Zerak, do you see? No. Now you do. Spider moves up and... Uh, did, is he not within range? No, he's out oh, by one square still. Alright, Royal Lock. Oh, this is uh, Serena. Um, move up. And into the web you go. Faltore, same thing with you. Into the web. Alright. Uh, rain. You should have range on the spider now. Oh, a miss. Impressive that you missed. I'm going to make him come to me. Ready for his approach. Nice hit by Zerak for my well, only four damage. If it was that a miss, it was. But it's a miss in return. Serena, I'll move you up behind the fighters here. What is that? Is that another spider? It's gotta be. Uh, Faltori, anything else useful here? I could do a Melf's Acid Arrow or a Scorching Ray. Uh, let's do a... Yeah, let's do a Melf's Acid Arrow. So Melf's Acid Arrow does acid damage. And it also causes lingering acid damage. So every round, the enemy takes a little bit more acid damage. If he, you know, hits. Nice try, Faltori. Alright, full attack. On the spider. Is that two misses? It was. Ah, we're in luck. Alright, let's attack. You know, in, in the end, nothing beats a good axe. You can throw your fancy acid spells and... Oh, you need to reload. There we go. Miss. Uh, let's move you a little bit closer here. Get you with up, up within the range of the party. Okay, spider identified. Ooh, she took a hit. Uh, let's move up and we'll do another clerical cure. Not to keep the fighters topped off if I could. Which it does. Good. HP maxed out. Yep. I see you, Mr. Spider. Why you gotta be so creepy? Okay. Two spiders here in range, Faltori. Can you do your Scorching Ray now? Would you hit both? I think you would. Let's do it. One hit for 12 and no effect in the other spider. Must have failed, or must have missed. Okay, she can see it now. No, Spider, you're going to have to come to me. I'm not going to come to you. Uh. 
Web is gone. Spider takes a, a hit for six damage. Pretty good off a bow. Uh, Zerak, you will... I don't want you to head out because you'll be a bait for the spider then. There's nothing over here, right? It is just a blank wall? Yeah. Okay. Zerak, you will end your turn. Serena, end your turn. Incoming web. Faltura, you are getting low on magic already. You have no level 2 spells left. You have a Ray of Enfeeble and a magic weapon. So, let's move you up behind your fighter lines. And we will do a magic weapon on, oh, let's say, uh, let's say Royal Lock. No, Kiori. Her weapon is non magical right now. And Royal Lock is using the Night Slicer, which is good against werewolves and vampires. Not that I think there are going to be any of those here. Okay, we've kind of minimum damage there from, from rain. Alright, let's move up. Royal Lock hits for 9 damage. Kiori moves up with her axe. And attacks. And deals death for 10 damage. Alright. Uh, looks like... It's just a empty passageway up there, or okay, so all right, let's move on. All right, let's all catch up with the barbarian. Serena with her only two movement squares. And then following up with rain in the back. Okay, Warlock will move you up. And a little bit more. Go oh, hello, spider. Right, let's make, make room for Kaori. Oh, he did webbing right in Royal Ox's face. Nice job on your saving throws, folks. Serena, uh, boy, um, over here, I guess. Okay, good, she sees it. Uh, Faltori. You really are out of magic, aren't you? Probably don't need Disrupt Undead. <laughs> Uh, can I, uh, Rain, can you see it? Yes. Oh, she misses, even though she had a good chance to hit. Okay, I think he sees it, too. Uh, another miss by an archer. Alright, Kiori. Show these chumps how it's done. Hit for 8 damage. And Royal Lock, followed up. With four, he's at 1 hit point. And it's his turn. Nice dodge by Kiori. Uh, Serena. You know what? Let's trade out your... Okay. We're going to sheath your, your, your shield here. And on your next turn, equip your crossbow. Actually, we can do it here. Boink, there we go. He probably cannot cast with both his hands occupied. So, Faltore, you're going to end your turn. Rain, can you shoot? Yeah, okay, she kills it. As long as the dice hit the table, it's dead. Alright, looks like there is an empty cave up here, but let's get some, uh, some more eyes on that. Oh, hello. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, this cave is empty. All right, Carrie, let's uh, move into position. Oh, good, the weapon's gone. Zerak takes aim and misses. Can you? Ooh, let's see. Can you do it? Two hits? No. Two misses. All right, let's head up there and base this spider. I doubt it'll use its web if it's in melee. Hit by Roylock for six damage. Oh, it did web anyway. Feltori ending your turn. Serena. I doubt you can hit this thing, but let's try. Yep. I hear you, spider. Don't worry. I know you're there. Missed by Zarek. We'll have you just move a little bit. Now, I don't need to do a move on her. She can see. So, full attack. Two arrows. Well, only five damage. Well, I hit for 11. It's another one at one hit point. Warlock blocks. It's a miss. Faltori, in your turn. You are just a torch bearer right now. Serena will move you up and reload your bow. Oh, got to move her forward by one whole square. And again, as long as the dice hit the table, she's going to kill that thing. Alright, um... What's in this, this area up here? I'll say this cave here comes to an end. And it comes out... Oh, so this is the end of this, of this tunnel, it looks like. Except for this spot down here. What's down here? Let's find out. Uh, ba -ba Zerak has no real light source. Hey, wait. Is this an exit? This looks like an exit. I don't think it's a stage exit, too. Secret area? I think so. Whoa. This is a whole different cave network. Um... All right. Trying to cast. Wait, that one's out of formation too. Um, I got my spells back. Okay. Well, let's bless. I don't know why I have my spells back. All right. Uh, Kiari, move up and let's open that door. We can zoom out a little bit. Uh, ooh, oh, this looks cool. It's like a forgotten sanctuary kind of thing. Some books over there. Bookshelf. Uh, skull candle. Classy. And a book of something. And, oh, there's treasure in them dark chests. How much want to bet it's guarded? All right, everyone stay in formation. I don't want to get too far ahead of anyone here. Rain, stand back. Okay, uh, Zerak, move up. Okay, all right. So far, nothing's jumped out at me. I know I'm taking partial actions right now, but just trying to be cautious here. This looks like it could be either trapped or some big guardian here. 
Besides, it's double doors both in into this area here and into the treasure. And where there's double doors, there's always a boss fight. Important lessons you learned from Legend of Zelda. Okay, so far so good. Roy lock, move forward. Oh, what is that? What is that? Uh, SRL. Oh, it's in Arrhenia's. Oh, no. Okay. Um, a Arrhenia's is a devil type creature. They are uh, sort of like uh, anti angels. They're flying, they're sword wielding. Uh, they might have some, po some special powers, but basically they are um, devilish warriors, and I believe they're from the actually they're actually from the devil side of the uh, of, of the Tenari uh, Batizu war equation. I think Meroliths are the are the demons, Erendis are the devils, something like that. All right. Um, anyways, uh, what's your, did I see 24 AC? I totally did. Oh, this will be a tough fight. Speaking of bosses. I mean, what, what DM thought this was fair? Putting up a, a, a level 3 party versus a freaking Arrhenius? Ah. Alright. Uh, you know, I shouldn't have... I should have had her cast Bull Strength on someone. End turn. Faltori, get behind the fighters. Uh, can you rave and feeble? Yes. Oh, it's a miss. Did, did she just hold her action? Well, okay. Why is she staying there? I mean, all right, I'll, I'll take the ranged attack and, and miss, but you know, it's a thought that counts. Um, I wonder if she'll do it again. No, she's got a bow. She's okay. That's what she's doing. She's going for ranged. I guess I'll have to engage her point blank. Kaori, get up there. Yeah, I'll bet your hide failed. Oh, it's a miss. Warlock, move up and assist. Duh, 24 is going to be hard to beat for this party. You've got six arrows left in your current quiver. You can... You have a, a beat on this thing. 24. Uh, two hits. Two misses. Alright, Serena, you're in position to back up the fighters. We're going to cast Bull Strength on someone. How about Kaori? Alright, Faltori, do you have anything you can use on this thing? That'll be of any sort of use. Uh, how about Acid Arrow? Oh, it's a hit for six damage. She is now taking slight acid damage every round. Let's move you up here as well, so you can magic weapon the next on the next turn. Uh, okay, she switched. She, she switched out her bow for a sword. Can I sneak in behind her for a backstab? Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to move through her threatened range. We'll just move him up to position over here. And... Uh, make an attack. Oh, hit! For five damage. Good shot. Kaori misses. And we'll end her turn there. Warrior lock. We'll also miss, and we'll end his turn as well. Uh, Rain, you're in a... You can hit, I think. Miss, miss. Anything else useful here? Could do Shield of Faith. We'll give Kara some AC. Oh, no, wait, that's an armor bonus, isn't it? Okay, good. AC 19. Good. Ending turn. Faltori, you will cast Magic Weapon 
on Royal Lock for a plus one to hit and damage. Then ending your turn. Asterial goals for the hit. And hits Kaori for 11 damage. Okay, we're going to swap out for a Rapier. Miss. Miss. That AC-24 is going to be really hard to hit. I mean, okay. Yes, this place, I suppose, is a little dangerous. The spiders weren't a big threat, but facing a Arrhenius kind of is. I'm going to do a Clerical Cure, level 1. Sacrifice Detect Undead for a Cure 1 on Kaori. She is now at 37. Excellent. Paltore. Uh, magic Missile. Oh, look, it's your hit points now. Someone someone identified her. Ah, uh, okay. No effect. Means that she, um, she must have, she must have spell resistance. Come on, Kiori. Dodge. Nice. You did it. Miss. All right. Zerak, let's sneak in and go for the sneak attack. That's a hit. For 22 damage, critical sneak. Nice job, Zarek. Okay, Kiori hits again. Well, for the first time, I think. For another 18 damage. This has been a bad round for the Arrhenias. Uh, ending your turn. Warlock. Okay, well, I guess I'll end your turn there. Um... Rain. Actually, you have one arrow left. You can do one attack out of your two. So we'll shoot and then reload an extra. Oh, she hits. 18 damage with a critical. Nice shot, Rain. Ending your. Well, actually, no. Let's equip you here. Uh, boom. Okay. Ending turn. Actually, Serena, you don't have much to do. The party is in good shape. The Rennies is almost dead. Um, we'll give a guidance to um, Kaori. Plus one to hit. Faltore. Let's try an acid splash. Splort. Yeah, I missed. I thought it might. Arrhenia's goes for. <laughs> She's like, enough of that, backstabber. <laughs> Zerak takes a hit for 10. He's at 7. And now he goes for a backstab. And miss. Um, someone kill it quickly before it knocks him down. Nice. 14 damage. Dead Arrhenias. 900 XP for the party. Beautiful. Did anyone love a lot of that? No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, we're like our Zerak. I imagine that door is probably locked. Right, let's get the party arranged up here in front of the door. Just in case something is hiding behind it and wants to nibble my giblets, as it were. Okay, Serena, move on up. And um, there's a book over there. Is that. Is that book useful for anything? Does it do anything? I imagine not. Looks like it's just dungeon dressing. Oh, 
Altori will move up. Uh, ending your turn. Okay, Zerak grabs the door and he found a trap. Okay, Serena. Uh, anything useful over here? I don't see any special actions. No. Okay. I think it is just is just dungeon dressing. A book looks like a potion bottle and a candle skull. Again, nice touch. I appreciate that kind of dungeon dressing. All right, Zerak, you got your work cut out for you here. Moving we'll forward, and I found another trap. Uh, do you need to? You can't attack the trap. You must have a, a disable option here. Somewhere. Um, we'll end your turn. Maybe, maybe it's a. There it is. Okay, disable device. Uh, I guess you... Did you miss the device? Dude, it's right in front of you. I could trip it with the Barbarian. Barbarians make excellent trap trippers. Come on, Zerak. You're holding up the party. I mean, I, I know... I know it takes... I know it's a... It's, it's a more of an art than a science. There we go. Ah, trapped. Okay, or locked. Pearl, uh, see, I, don't, I don't remember if uh, if if you de if you actually attack a, a lock and destroy it, if it has a chance of destroying what's inside. I don't remember if that's if that's a if that's a thing here. Oh, I did not. I, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Um. Well, you know, might as well move you inside a little bit further. Whoop. Voltore, let's get you inside. Since I'm going to get my spells back anyway, let's do a detect magic. Um, nothing in there is magical. Maybe that, maybe that's all that works. Okay, nice. Trap disarmed. Let's move you up here. Okay, that one was not uh, locked. I don't think. No, it was. Okay. Uh, potion of Shield of Faith, level 5. I will take that. Some good armor right there. Okay, got that one open. Uh, Faltori. A sling. A frost sling. What do you do? Additional 1d6 points of damage, cold damage from a successful hit. That's pretty sweet. I'll totally take that. Alright, Zerak, one left. I think you missed it. Try again. You got it this time. Uh, Wanda Magic Missile, 5th level. Well, Faltori, this is a good little uh, treasure haul for you. So Wanda Magic Missile allows you to throw magic missiles from this wand. It has 20 charges to it, so I can do it 20 times. Launch 3 missiles. So the, Okay, nice. So it's a 3d4 plus 3 damage. All right, I think that's it for this chamber. I guess we'll head back out and uh, go down the other side of the spider caves. Uh, Rain, head off to the exit here, would you? Off to the exit. I don't think, I think only she needs to actually hit the exit point. Because Zerak got us in here last time, just by himself. Oh, okay. 
Oh, well, that's the end of the adventure. Oh, okay, so... Oh, an alternate exit. Interesting. I wonder if that completes it. I don't think it does. Three monsters killed. Or eight monsters killed. Three chests open. Spider Spike is still available. So let's see. We do have to get to the uh, to the official end. So we found a neat little hidden uh, hidden room over there. We got some cool treasure out of it. So it's already been about 40 minutes here for this episode. So I'm going to wrap this one up here for now. So next episode, we will tackle part two of Spider Spike Hollow. Thank you all for watching.